I have traveled the width and length of the world and throughout those trips, as I admire the achievements and beauty of those nations, I am always fully conscious that Malaysia is a gem in its own right. It is not just about the physical beauty that Malaysia is blessed with, but we are blessed that we do not face catastrophes that devastates and kill thousands despite us being on the peripherals of a ring of fire. We are also blessed that despite extremists and fanatics trying to stir racial and religious zealotry, the majority of our people have either rejected or ignored them. But that doesn't mean we should take for granted it for granted that they will not be one day be able to galvanize and mobilize enough to inflict us untold damages. So be vigilant. While this government is all for the freedom of speech, expressions, and the media, free media, that shouldn't be taken as a freedom to stir trouble in particular on matters of race and religion. While there are legislations available to stop such attempts, the most effective will always be how the riot respond to it. If the riot are not taken up at all this by these zealots, they will be exposed. Without doubt, the support and scrutiny of the people will ensure we achieve our common objectives tailored towards the well-being of the riot. As such, it is my pleasure that Pok, when Pokong Pok offered to launch this gold note of hope, it is my hope that this initiative will inspire other business entities to come forward and contribute to the nation that has, I'm sure, been very kind to them. On that note, I wish to thank Po Kong and Dato Chun for making this event a success. I thank you.